Hello and welcome to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church here in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Steele. Thanks for tuning in today. Our devotion for today is based off of Ephesians chapter 4, beginning at verse 22. Put off your old self, which belongs to your former manner of life and is corrupt through deceitful desires, and to be renewed in the spirit of your minds and to put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, Having put away falsehood, let each one of you speak the truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger, and give no opportunity to the devil. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. St. Paul talks a lot about putting off your old self, putting away your old desires, speaking the truth to one another in love, don't steal, etc. St. Paul, what are you telling us? Are you telling us to buck up and have a stiff upper lip and go ahead and just be a good person? It's easy enough to hear and interpret the passages of scripture just read in that way. But the key is, listening carefully, put off your old self. Put on the new self, created after the likeness of God in true righteousness and holiness. Dear friends, this is a call to daily repentance, to daily remember and live out your baptism. Our old self, full of deceitful, corrupt desires, is what we're born with. We're born into sin, and we continue to commit sin after sin. It's natural for us. It's quite easy for our desires to be corrupt, to be selfish. It's quite natural for us to deceive either overtly or subtly, to get the things that we want. And it's quite natural to want to accumulate and to hoard wealth and possessions and whatever else we want, and to keep it to ourselves. This is the old self. Dearly beloved, this is not who you are in Jesus Christ. For Jesus Christ has died on the cross. He has shed his blood, that that blood would cleanse you of all your sins. And he rose from the dead, proof that his sacrifice was acceptable to God the Father, and proof that he has overcome death, Satan. Yea, as he said, take heart, I have overcome the world. In this forgiveness of sins, is given and applied to you in the waters of baptism. When the word of God is joined with water, and that water is put on you, and that word, that name is put on you, when you hear the words, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In and through baptism, you are a new creation. The old self is put off and put away and drowned in those waters. And the new self, the new person in Jesus Christ, is put on. Christ's righteousness and holiness, after the image and likeness of God, is put upon you. That you, being raised from sin and death, may live before God in innocence and in purity forever and that you would serve one another in love and holiness and honor and joy. So when you think about it that way, the call to repentance, to put off the old self, to put on the new self, and to live as the new self, 
isn't an exhortation to become something greater or to pull yourself up by your own bootstraps. Rather, it is the glorious and comforting revelation to you that you are in fact not bound to your sinful desires, but rather that you are God's own beloved child and that those deceitful, greedy, corrupt desires that you are born with do not rule over you, but that you are free in Jesus. You are free in Jesus. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. There are things in this life that cause us to be rightly angry. But often there are many more things that cause us to be angry for no good reason. Whatever the cause, do not let the sun down, go down on your anger. Forgive one another just as you have been forgiven. And that which causes you anger, give it over to the Lord. For he is the one who will set all things right in his time. Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Freely we have been given everything by God. Freely let us give to one another, helping each other in every need. There are many opportunities Pray to the Lord and look around and see with what joy you can help one another. And finally, give no opportunity to the devil. Easier said than done, St. Paul, because the opportunities for the devil to work his wiles, to lie, to deceive, to lead us down the path of sin are many and varied every time we step everywhere we turn. Satan and his demons and our sinful flesh are always looking for the opportunity to get the upper hand. But the Lord promises, call upon me in the day of trouble and I will deliver you. When you feel the temptation of the devil, when you hear the lure and the call of the sinful flesh, when you see temptation and sin laid out before you. Like the hymn says, God's own child, I gladly say it, I am baptized into Christ. And because you are baptized into Christ, you can say to Satan, to demons, to temptations, to your own self, get thee behind me. I am God's and He is mine. When you feel the temptation to sin, turn to the Lord, turn to Jesus, call upon him. He will deliver you. He will make a way out, for he has promised it. Beloved, live daily in your baptism. Repent of your sins and turn to Christ Jesus in faith. For in him you have the forgiveness of all of your sins, life and salvation. And by him and through him you are free to love God and to serve one another. Put off your old self. Put on the new self. Rejoice in your baptism. Rejoice in in the salvation that Jesus Christ has won for you. Rejoice in the Lord always. Amen. We pray now the litany, Lutheran service book, page 288. Page 288. O Lord, have have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have have mercy. mercy. O Christ, hear hear us. us. God, the Father in heaven, have have mercy. mercy. 
God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. God the Holy Spirit, have, have mercy. mercy. Be gracious to us. Spare, Spare us, us, good Lord. Lord. Be gracious to us. Help, Help us, us, good Lord. Lord. From all sin, from all error, from all evil. From the crafts and assaults of the devil. From sudden and evil death. From pestilence and famine. From war and bloodshed. From sedition and from rebellion. From lightning and tempest. From all calamity by fire and water. And from everlasting death. Good, good Lord, Lord, deliver Lord. us. By the mystery of your holy incarnation. By your holy nativity by your baptism, fasting, and temptation, by your agony and bloody sweat, by your cross and passion, by your precious death and burial, by your glorious resurrection and ascension, and by the coming of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, help, help us, us, good Lord, Lord, in all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment, help us, good Lord. We poor sinners implore you to hear us, O Lord, to rule and govern your holy Christian church, to preserve all pastors and ministers of your church in the true knowledge and understanding of your wholesome word and to sustain them in holy living, to put an end to all schisms and causes of offense to bring into the way of truth all who have erred and are deceived, to beat down Satan under our feet, to send faithful laborers into your harvest, and to accompany your word with your grace and spirit. We implore you to hear us, good Lord, to raise those who fall and to strengthen those who stand, and to comfort and help the weak-hearted and the distressed, we, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to give to all peoples concord and peace, to preserve our land from discord and strife, to give our country your protection in every time of need, to direct and defend our president and all in authority, to bless and protect our magistrates and all our people, to watch over and help all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. To protect and guide all who travel. To grant all women with child and all mothers with infant children increasing happiness in their blessings. To defend all orphans and widows and provide for them. To strengthen and keep all sick persons and young children. To free those in bondage and to have mercy on us all, we implore you to hear us, good Lord, to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts, to give and preserve for our use the kindly fruits of the earth, and graciously to hear our prayers. We implore you to hear us, good Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, we implore you to hear us. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world, grant, grant us your, your peace. peace. O Christ, hear, hear us. us. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. O Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. O Lord, have, have mercy. mercy. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and most merciful God, in this earthly life, we endure sufferings and death before we enter into eternal glory. 
Grant us grace at all times to subject ourselves to your holy will and to continue steadfast in the true faith to the end of our lives, that we may know the peace and joy of the blessed hope of the resurrection of the dead and of the glory of the world to come. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We pray. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless us, defend us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.